over here in this session we are going to study about the conventional and the green synthesis of benz amide we'll see the abstract of it how this entire thing is being done <music> Herein we describe a clean and eco-compatible pathway. Now, what do we mean by clean and eco-compatible pathway? Clean pathway is a kind of synthesis wherein there are no byproducts or hardly very little byproducts remaining. The number of byproducts should be as low as possible, as less as possible. If the byproducts are less, then we will not have to worry about disposing those particular byproducts the disposal of byproducts may harm the environment but if there are no byproducts then the environment will not be harmed so we have to describe a synthesis or a preparation wherein the entire route is clean that means hardly any byproducts are there eco compatible that means ecologically it is good environmentally it is good it is compatible to the ecological systems around or to the environment around for both n benzoylation and n acetylation of aniline now what is aniline a benzene ring with a primary amine attached to it is known as aniline so if i have a benzene ring with a dash nh2 attached to it that particular structure is known as aniline amines so of course when i have dash nh2 that is my primary amine attached to a long chain carbon that is r nh2 or if i have dash nh dash or if i have n with three dashes that is my primary amine secondary amine and tertiary amine if these are attached to the carbon chains then it is amines diamines that means that i have two nh2 groups attached in chemistry two means di three means tri four means tetra five means penta and so on so if i have di tri tetra penta and so on all of these are nothing but different ways of stating number in chemistry over here i have diamine that means two amines together and amino alcohol using three enol esters with good yields we have improved the use of vinyl benzoate for the direct introduction of a benz amide t under solvent and activation free conditions so over here we are making sure that we are not using a solvent or any kind of activation energy to do so we are trying and making it a solvent and an activation free conditions overall for this particular greener pathway or greener reaction to get through easily the recovered amides are easily isolated by crystallization so crystallization is the process which takes place and with the help of this crystallization process now what exactly is crystallization if i have anything in liquid state and i keep it at a cooler room temperature for a couple of days or for a few hours depending on what is the substance which needs to be crystallized if we keep it down like that we understand and realize that after one point of time these components are going to get crystallized and once these benzamides get crystallized we can easily isolate them that means filter them out or remove them this is the entire reaction of the same we have our amines that is r nh2 plus c o c double bond o attached to the benzene ring on the arrow we have solvent free that means there is no solvent no activation energy this eventually helps us in forming a benzene ring with c double bond o n h and this particular structure of a benzene ring with c double bond o n h is known as benzamide plus it forms a c double bond o h which is nothing but an aldehyde and that by product can be easily used for some other kind of reaction so this is how the green route of benzamide is done which is much much better than the conventional route thank you <music>